Welcome to another reading vlog. I am in Florida, so I have time to read for days. To start, I have my little book pouch, which I never thought I would like these or use them, but they're actually great because sometimes I get afraid of my books on the plane, and I'm reading Capturing the Devil. Still, this is a buddy read with Isabella, and I was very upset by the events of this book, so I put it down for a few days, but I'm gonna catch up and see how far I can get tonight. Bunch of tabs so far. It's just an emotional experience. And but the next thing I want to talk about is the fact that I went to Target and I got another BTS album with gift cards that I had. So uh, let's open her up and see what I got in here. Oh, I'm so afraid. Oh, it's like matte, it's so nice. The side is like sparkly. Okay. The CD is here. And now we have the BTS story book. I guess the photo card is in here. So let's look at this other stuff first. Oh, okay, this is the, this is the photo card. Oh, I got J-Hope. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, and there, and then he's with the puppy here. That's so cute. Um, what's this? Oh. <gasps> no. Oh, I got JK in this one. So cute. And then this is really cool. Um, is this a poster? This poster. Okay, I'll look at that. What's in this? Science today. Okay, bye.
so it's now Friday, November 15th, and <coughs> I have like an hour before I have to go do stuff. So I'm going to continue reading Capturing the Devil. I'm on page 341, so I only have like 100 pages left of this book, and Isabella and I are just like freaking out over everything that is happening because like it's the last, like the end of the series, and like I just don't know how it's gonna end, like who this killer is going to be and I just like feel like it's gonna be a big twist and I'm really sad I've been loving this series so much like look at all my tabs and I only have a hundred pages left of it's sad it's very sad but yeah uh, this has just been what I'm reading I thought I was gonna have more time to read on this vacation than I have had so far because I've just been literally like hanging out, doing other stuff, which is fine, but I hopefully will finish this today and then maybe at least start Shadow Frost. So uh, that's all for now. I just got to a part in this book that is so intense, like things are happening and it's wild and I need to go like do some errands now, but I'm, I'm stressed, I'm shook. Oh my god, we're like getting near to the end, so we're finding out who like the big bad is. And like, ah, it just, it just kills me a little bit. Literally what happens when I bullet journal, it's just a mess. Like it's not neat. I am chaotic. So last night I finally finished capturing the devil and like what an experience it was. The last like little bit, I guess, kind of starting at like this one point where Audrey Rose goes out on this mission and just like the stuff that happened really had my heart pounding. Like I didn't know what was gonna happen and it was so intense. I could not look away from the page. I just think that the series ended perfectly and it was such a fun time buddy reading it with Isabella. Like it was probably the best buddy read just because we read the whole series together in like the span of a month and it's just like really fun to do that with someone. Obviously I love all the buddy reads I've ever done but I just think it was really cool reading a series straight through with someone and of course buddy reading I think always just enhances the experience of reading because you have someone to scream at with your thoughts rather than just keeping them in to yourself or only sharing them with your camera if you're a booktuber. So it was just, it was just so fun and I'm like so sad that it's over but I think that this wrapped up perfectly. Like I will take anything that Carrie Maniscalco writes and read it. I, if she decided that there were going to be eight more books in the series, I'd be like down for it. I'd be ready to go. <sighs> so today is my last day in Florida and I thought I was going to read Shadow Frost, but Queen of Nothing comes out on Tuesday and I wanted to read Wicked King before then and I have a whole plane ride tomorrow to read. So I think instead of trying to read Shadow Frost or starting like, a new fantasy. I want to read Death Note, which was a gift from Isabella. So it's the black edition, which is just really cool. And I have been wanting to get more and more into manga. I have this little note that she wrote me stuck in here. And I'm, I've heard just great things about it. And since it's gonna be like quicker to read than a book, I figure I can finish it today and then start Wicked King on my plane ride tomorrow, read that on the plane when I get home. Monday, to Sunday, Monday, and then start Queen of Nothing straight away on Tuesday because I'm so freaking excited for that book. Um, do I have anything else to talk about? That's it for now. Monday and so that means it's back to work but I just wanted to come on and close out the vlog really quick um 
on the plane yesterday i did read some of the wicked king not a lot because i ended up falling asleep but i got to page 109 and it's actually really quick to read especially because it's a reread i find that i just fly through holly black's writing because i'm so engaged and it's just like i keep reading and reading and i love this story and i just love the tension between judith and garden so it's going pretty quick and then i'll hopefully maybe finish this off today so that i can start queen of nothing bright and early tomorrow and then <clears throat> i also am in the middle of death note and i am on like page 100 something i am on page 126 or something something like that and i'm actually finding this story really really intriguing just learning about light and how he's handling having the power to like kill anyone he wants and it's actually a little bit different than i thought it would be i don't know what i thought it would be but the moral repercussions is really interesting and i love the death god he's just like kind of chilling and light kind of just like sucks it's <laughs> kind of an asshole but all right i'm gonna go have some fun making looks and i'll catch you guys in the next one